Okay guys, the day has come for me to do this video right here. I'm sure you've seen from the title already, you know what's about to happen. And uh, today's what happens if video. Now, ever since I started making these videos, the what happens if you push the button while driving, and then the follow-up video, which was what happens if you throw the key out the window while driving, which was a video I made by request because I got a lot of comments about making that specific video. I got other, uh, other requests as well. What happens if you pull an electronic parking brake while driving? So I did that one. But out of all the requests that I've gotten on this channel, this specific topic right here has been the one that people wanna see the most. So what we're gonna do today is figure out what happens if you put your transmission in reverse while driving. Now, I have never done this before. So I'm just gonna try and see what happens. Now, as always in these tests that I do, I obviously want them to be as transparent as possible. So I have one GoPro right there, one right there, and we have one right here on the steering column that's gonna monitor my gear selector down by the speedometer. So with no further ado, I'm currently in drive. Now I have an automatic transmission, it's not a stick shift put it in neutral I'm gonna put it in reverse <laughs> the backup camera comes on nothing happens I'm rolling, the rear park gate is on, but nothing is happening. You can see the car behind me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I mean, the build up to making this video was extremely, it was nerve wracking because I honestly didn't know what was gonna happen. But I've gotten the request so many times and I was like, man, I'm not making that video because I don't want my transmission to be left back there and my car ruined. I know I've used this Ford Fusion that I have as a guinea pig uh, for a lot of tests, but this one I felt that I'm not even gonna try this because I'm afraid of what's gonna happen. But then I started thinking that automatic transmissions nowadays, they're so developed and they're so modern, there's gotta be some kind of safety feature for if someone were to do that by mistake. Just like it was with what happens if you push the button while driving video. I mean, it's a scary thought, and I, I don't know, the curiosity, I guess, got me to just wanna try it. So we're gonna try this again. As you can see on the GoPro that's on the steering column, I'm currently doing 70 miles an hour. I'll put it in reverse. The backup camera comes on. So, Apparently there must be some kind of blocking feature. Put it back in drive. So basically when I put it in reverse, it seems like it just puts the transmission in neutral. Obviously you're not supposed to do this. And as I always say in these videos, please don't go and try this in your own vehicle because I don't know what's gonna happen in your car. I have a Ford Fusion. What if this feature isn't available in your car and you try this out and maybe your transmission is left planted on the road and your car is ruined. So please don't go trying this in your own vehicle and don't be like, oh, I saw this bald guy on YouTube do it. It's not my fault. <laughs> don't try it yourself.
I don't want to be responsible for that. So please don't go trying this in your own vehicle. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't up until the point where I actually did it. It was very nerve wracking, but it was a fun experiment and uh, I hope you enjoyed it like you did the other videos. And also share this video with people you know would appreciate it to uh, educate them as well about what to do and what not to do in your car. And if this is your first time visiting the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing before I put it on the channel, remember to follow me on social media, at Autovlog for Instagram. Same goes for Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, remember to stay safe out on the road. Bye-bye.